Can you tell me what happened at the fire? Are you asking me for my statement? Yes. I already gave that to the police. I'd just like to hear it from you. We're asking everyone. Oh, good luck with that. Now, let's get to brass tacks. What's the real story with Nancy Drew? She's not guilty. It's not up to me to decide innocence or guilt. It's up to the public. Actually, it's up to the courts. Officially, that's true. But the court of public opinion makes its verdict before the actual courts can even schedule a hearing. Guess which one matters more? Were you writing a story about the fire? Writing? Yes, I was writing a story and broadcasting and webcasting and macro and micro blogging. I own this story. Are you going to continue reporting on the fire? If I didn't, I wouldn't be doing my job. The fire is the biggest thing to happen here since old man Crowley's will was found. Good. I need your help. I need to know everything you know. In my line of work, you have to work for the answers. If you want to talk to me, you're going to have to give me some good info about Nancy. I don't like the sound of that. As my dad always used to say, What are you going to do, cry about it? You ready to do this or what? Sure. All right, do your worst. Who would want to see the old town hall burn down? Don't know, don't care. Has Nancy always been interested in starting fires, or is that a recent development? Actually, you didn't answer my question. So, you're reluctant to say. Probably not a recent thing, then. Tell me about Nancy's dark side. What are you talking about? I'm talking about Nancy. Okay, my turn. Wait, you didn't let me ask a question. Yes, I did. You asked me what I was talking about, and I said Nancy. Speaking of Nancy, is it true that she's been known to skirt the law when she's on a case? No. So then she just flagrantly breaks the law. Good to know. Stop. That's not what I said. I don't want to be interviewed. I just need to find out what's going on with Nancy. Okay, all right. I'll put the kid gloves back on. Everyone in this town is so shy. I'd kill for a little verbal sparring now and again. You gotta be primed and ready for the big time. And I get nothing here. So you're looking to move on in your career? Yep. Believe it or not, this backwater burg doesn't cut it for me. You didn't treat us fairly in the articles you wrote. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I change what you said? No, you took what was said out of context. It seems that way, but trust me, it's not what happened. It's common for subjects to be nervous and forget what they've said. You can't blame me for that. You'll get better. Anytime you want to practice, let me know. We could talk about Nancy. What do you think of Nancy? On the record or off the record? Just honestly. So off the record then. I think she's in big trouble and way, way out of her depth. And on the record? Well, gosh, she's just another example of what makes this town so special. Bye. Bye. Nancy was lucky to make it out unsinged. The alarm has been turned off. I'd better tell Nancy. What's up? The fire alarm at Town Hall had been switched off. My dad knows the people who run the city alarm systems. I'm going to see if they can give us a little more information. You should take over. I'm on the case. Nancy, I just got your message. Are you okay? I'm in jail, so things could be better. Still? Still. They're blaming me for the fire at Town Hall. That doesn't make any sense. Why would they think you'd have anything to do with something like that? Are they treating you okay? Well, so far. I'm dropping everything and I'm coming home. Hang tight. I'll be there as soon as I can. Dad, you don't need to rush home all the way from Australia. I can take care of this myself. I just need a little help. Nancy, I've always thought you were very responsible, but this is not something you should try to take on yourself. I certainly won't turn down help. That's my girl. I've got a lot of favors to call in, so even though I'm far away right now, I'll be able to help. Right now, I'm going to see if I can't get you out of jail. I'm going to make some calls. Keep me updated. 
Will do. Chief McGinnis let me out of the holding cell. That's great news. But I can't go home until I find more conclusive proof that it wasn't me who set the fire. It's a good start. I'm going to keep working to get you out. And I'm going to keep working on the case. Nancy, I know I don't have to remind you of this, but be careful. You could land in some serious hot water if you impede the investigation in any way. I'll be careful. I promise. I just found out something big about the alarm system. I think I need your help. I'm at your disposal. What do you need? I think that the alarm was disabled at the Old Town Hall. I need you to look into it. Now that is a big break. I think I may know just the person to talk to about that. Give me a call back in a few minutes. Nancy! What's up? I need you to take over. I'm on the case. Hey there. Didn't expect to see you here. I thought you'd be jailing it up with that firebug friend of yours. Shouldn't you be baking her a cake with a saw in it or something? Hi, Dee Dee. Dear Dra. I know it's got that tricky second syllable, but I figured it out by age two. Don't give up. You'll get there. I think you look like a Dee Dee. And I think you look like you got dressed in the dark. If you want to talk to me, and let's face it, most people do, don't call me Dee Dee. What do you think of Brenda? Seeing her makes me want to invest in hair salons and plastic surgery. So, you're not a member of her fan club? Oh, I'm a huge fan of the whole Heights 9 news team. When news breaks, who will be boring about it? Ugh, I just sort of hate her. Why? She's just always so chipper. I hate it. Write down in your notebook that I hate that. Anything else? My dad made her hit list a year back. She just makes stuff up. She dresses up and does hidden camera stings in these ridiculous outfits. Hey, didn't she dress up as Nancy once? I don't know. That's not normal behavior there. Where were you during the fire? Are you investigating me? That's so cute. You were just priceless. I know you don't mean that as a compliment, but I'm taking it. That's it? No follow-up? What is this? Good cop, no other cop? You're going to have to tell us what happened eventually. Or what? You can't make me do or say anything. I know my rights. Would you say that you hated the old town hall? You guys just don't stop, do you? I did not start the fire. Bye. Bye. Well, hey there, kid. How are you holding up? I'm okay. Sorry to hear about your friend. Never expected something like that from her. This must have been pretty rough on you. She didn't do it, really. You've got to believe me. Bess, I believe you. I believe that's what you think. We never know what someone is capable of until it's too late. She's innocent. Really innocent. I know it. Uh, all right, all right. I, I wasn't trying to upset you, Bess, I promise. You're very protective of your friends, and that's a good thing. She's got a lot of evidence stacking up against her right now. You can't deny that. What do you know about Nancy Drew's arrest? It's sad for her and for this town. A lot of people put their faith and trust in Nancy, and she's really let a lot of people down. But she didn't do anything. It's not up to me to decide that. I just know what I've seen. I know that the police force here doesn't take anything lightly. If they've made a decision, I have to stand by it. Oh, excuse me, I have to go get this delivery. Why would Tony have these? This is just like what Nancy saw at the fire.
What's up? So Deirdre's going to be about as helpful as George at picking out the latest fall fashions. I say we throw Ned at the problem. You might be right. I'll talk to him. What do you think of Deirdre? I definitely don't trust her, but I don't know what her motive would be for burning down Town Hall. Do you think Deirdre could really be behind the fire? We can't discount her. She's been trying to bring me down for years. I'm passing the case to you. I'll take it from here. Hello. I need a sample from Town Hall to test for possible accelerants. Okay, how do I do that? You'll need to find a clean, all-glass container with a lid. It needs to be small enough to fit in the chromatograph. You're on your own for that, but I bet you can find it if you look around. All right, check. Then as for the sample... Try to get a sample as close to the point of origin as possible. Point of origin? Where the fire started. It was right near the thermostat. We'll get it for you, don't worry. It's your turn to take the case. I'm on the case. I need to find the point of origin. That must be the point of origin. I should take a sample. I'm turning the case over to you. Nancy Drew, taking over. I need to figure out which accelerant matches these figures. Please state your name for the record. Nancy Drew. Where were you when the fire broke out? I was locked in the room where the fire started. What were you doing there? I was following a lead for the clues challenge. Was there anything strange about the way the fire was burning? It started really quickly. What was the color of the smoke? Black. Did you notice anything else out of the ordinary? There was a snowflake-shaped ice cube on the thermostat. Did you see anyone else at the scene before emergency crews arrived? Deirdre Shannon, Alexei Markovic, Tony Scolari, and Brenda Carlton. Do you believe someone intentionally started the fire? If so, who? Well, yes. I just don't know who did it. <laughs> 